All right. Calm before the storm. You couldn't have said that better. <laughs> we do have uh, that rainfall still in the mix here for us and what looks to be some extreme snow up across the Sierra. I have all those timing details and what we're seeing as of today, but let's take it outside right now and show you some of that blue sky through San Jose that just made it so awesome to be outside in it right now. 61 degrees, relatively dry air here with a dew point at 35 and we'll be into some 50s as we head through the next couple of hours. Hours. I still think we have more sunshine, more blue sky through tomorrow uh, from this area of high pressure. Now it's going to start to kick a little bit more off to the east, uh, but we're on a lock here for some great weather as we head through our Wednesday forecast. Then that next storm system is beginning to already drop down from Alaska uh, with that colder air and also the rainfall. We'll get you more updates on that coming up in about a minute, but let's roll it right into tomorrow morning's forecast and look. We're going to start it off pretty easy, pretty simple for tomorrow morning. Mostly sunny skies, lots of 40s here throughout most of the Bay Area. 41 for the South Bay. Only exception is the North Bay, uh, beginning with upper 30s. San Francisco at 47 and for the East Bay right here at 40. Temperatures as we roll through tomorrow with that sunshine will stay in the 60s through much of the Bay Area. So another gorgeous day to spend outside if you can. To just even getting that lunch break outside will make a difference for you. Uh, 67 here in San Jose for the East Bay. 65 Hayward out to Antioch, 68 Peninsula, 59 at Half Moon Bay and down to Palo Alto. Uh, you're coming in right here at 64 San Francisco, 62 in the Mission and 57 in the Marina. And for the North Bay, 61 in Mill Valley back to Sonoma, 65. So let's move it ahead towards that storm system. And we're still seeing the same path with this storm. It's taking a much different path overall than all the other systems we had this season. And that's because this one's dropping directly out of the north. So a lot of cold air remains wrapped up within that storm. Uh, we start to see that rain picking up here by Thursday afternoon and evening. We'd continue with rain chances the way we see it now into Friday and also into Saturday. Now overall for us in that three day period, it looks like on and off rain chances. I don't think it's going to be wall to wall rainfall from Thursday into Saturday. Uh, so rain totals right now three quarters to two inches maximum wind gusts for the lower elevations up to 50 miles per hour. That'll be on and off wind gusts, but I think overall the worst impacts and the biggest headlines will come from that Sierra snow that looks like it could stack up to seven feet, maybe even higher. So let's go into the rain totals here for the Bay Area first on Thursday, a quarter to a half inch. So we're OK with that. Then as we head through Friday, this is specifically Friday's total, another quarter to three quarters of an inch. And then on Saturday, we'll add to that a quarter to three quarters. So because that rainfall spread out, we should be able to avoid some of the worst impacts here in the Bay Area. But if you're going anywhere near the Sierra, this is where it looks treacherous. Blizzard warnings, winds that could get up to 100 miles per hour. Uh, so expect road closures, avalanche warnings, 90 inches King Vale, 81 Kirkwood, 58 right there in Tahoe. On the seven day forecast, we'll start to dry it out on Sunday and Monday and a few more shower chances on Tuesday. Coming up at 530, we'll have more looks at this. We'll get you closer details on uh, what we're seeing about this storm system again at 530. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, we'll see.